technology with the flat screens allow us to try to make everyday life look more like reality. In the old days you, have a, you had a deep television tube, but the new technology, the flat screen television technology, allows us to make something very flat and slim. And what is a television? It's not a piece of furniture, it's a window to a magical world. The challenges is when it's switched off, because when it's switched on, it's not about the product, it's about the software. But when it's switched off, what do you do? Because you have this fairly big area, like a window, but it's like it's always dark in that window, it's like it's always night out there. Any good design is expressed that it has been reworked and reworked and reworked, and, and it has its own life, and that will fit into a Rococo environment or a high-tech environment or a classical environment. It'll fit in anywhere because it has its own expression. Well, Toshiba is well known to deliver extraordinary technology for many years. But this time it was our challenge to combine this technology with an extraordinary design. Because design is next to picture quality and reliability the most important purchase decision criteria when it comes to a TV. We've been designing home electronics ever since there was home electronics. We go back to 1958. We did a lot of the Bang & Olsen products, we did Gaggenau products and a lot of other products all, all over the world. Some of the fundamentals that you have to be aware of as, as a designer is that the creation has to be appealing from a distance, but also when you come close it has to be magical, you have to be dragged towards it. And then of course when you touch it there has to be a good relation, touch and feel, man-machine relation we also call it. So that's some of the fundamentals when you design things, particularly when there's a lot of technology inside the product. A flat screen television is a mirror, it's a magical mirror to the future. So therefore we have this one big glass surface as a mirror into this unknown world, trying to grab the wall with the angle down here, coming a little bit off the wall out here, and the, the chrome surface here makes it float up the wall. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's magical, it's an illusion, and the materials underlines that. It has a lot of Jakob Jensen, but it also has a lot of Japanese design. I think it's a beautiful mix between Asia, Japan, and Scandinavia. I call it Scandi-Asian design. It's, it's, it has a global appeal, and that was also the intention of the corporation. To start a new era in design, we decided to collaborate with the famous European design house. And we choose for Jacob Jensen Design because they are very much experienced in creating high-end design and their design language and design philosophy is in line with our expectations. As you can see here, products become thinner and thinner and this collaboration basically is just the starting point for a new era in design with Toshiba.